Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back, long time no see. So today we're gonna be making a new desktop. And so I was inspired by my new life in the Rockies. And so I really wanna do like a sunset look and I found this picture and this is kind of the look that I'm going for, of course, with my own little twist on it. And so I'm gonna be using, I think they're all Rust-Oleum colors. This first color is gonna be grape um, to create that gradient effect. And so I love the Rust-Oleum colors. I have a bunch. Um, Highly recommend them, and they're super cheap. You can get them at like Walmart. Some Targets have a decent enough selection, but really Walmart is where you would go to get these for the most affordable price. And so, yeah. And um, Top Boat had actually sent me some new epoxy, and so I have really been wanting to make a new desktop because my last de desktop, you know, it was like a an experiment, and I really just wanted to do it again, maybe like pushing myself a little further to see what I could actually do with um everything and so here's me taking a dance break and then i'm going to cut the camera at that point <laughs> um so this is going to be the next color i'll leave links to everything below but yeah and so i really wanted to see you know what i i thought i could do in my mind and i'm like yes yeah, rocky like y'all remember when i said like these were going to be my colors of summer when i had did that um cutting board video and so really i'm kind of going for the same look as far as this t desktop goes and it just so happens around the same time that i did that video total boat had reached out to me again um to send me some more things and of course i was very you know graciously accepted and i thought it would be great for this unfortunately when they reached out to me it was still snowing in colorado and i couldn't do a project of this size um, in my garage because I couldn't get my garage to hold the temperature and so I had to wait all the way until July to do it but here we are we are here and so long story short I made it long anyway so yeah I'm just going to create that gradient with the spray paint and so I tried to think of ways I could improve on the way that I did it last time so if you didn't see my last video I'll link it below but essentially what I did I actually mod podged the table and then put the like the like mod podge glitter method on the desktop and on reflection that was very stupid of me because literally could have just and sorry about all the angles y'all y'all see my husband is the cameraman for today um he was home this day and so he wanted to be the cameraman so i let him so the angles you get is just the angles you get i think he did a decent enough job though so we won't hold it against him but yeah and so i'm like why didn't i just mix the glitter and the epoxy like I really made that desktop way harder on myself than I had to. Um, but yeah, learn from those mistakes. So yeah, I, this is where I am now. And so you can see it's creating that gradient. And when I had got done like spray painting and I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this, this might look crazy. And then, yeah, I just was like, well, it's too late now, it's spray painted. So we're just gonna roll with it. So that's what we're looking like. I felt like at this point, like the inspiration was literally just inspiration because I had moved really far away from what it actually looked like, but that's cool. And so this is the total boat five and one. I still have a bunch of this left. Um, you guys see me use this on like keychains, desktops, all that kind of good stuff. And so, like I said, I still have a bunch of this left. And so I am actually using two different total boat epoxies in this video. I'm using this first one um, as the glitter layer. In my opinion, this one is a little more amber. Well, not even my opinion, their website says it. It's a little more amber in color, so just remember that. And so I felt like this one would be good. And I also feel like this one, honestly, this one is more difficult making sure you have the perfect environment for curing and it blushes as well. I know I'm using like a lot of epoxy terms, just Google them y'all. Um, but this one blushes a lot easier than the one I end up finishing with. And so that's why I was happy that um, I had the different one to choose from to actually do the final coating. But yeah, I thought this one would be great to mix the glitter in with. And so now I'm going to do some glitter for you guys. Like I said, not going to do Mod Podge because I just put way more work on myself than I had to. And so this is Flamingo and Nerds. These are two iridescents. You guys seen them before. We've used them plenty, plenty times. And then we have Honey Mustard and Solstice are going to be the other two colors. Solstice is brand new. She came out as a part of our July surprise box, um, but you can purchase them individually now. So they are available on our website, period6glitter.com. And I will also leave a link to that below. Check us out. We have all the glitters to fit your heart's desire and we got more great things coming. So check us out. So yeah, I'm just... 
again, Total Boat, like, <laughs> hooked me up. I got all these little mixing cups and everything. So I put the glitters in the cups, and then I'm just rationing off the epoxy, you know, just eyeballing it how much ever I think I'm going to need. I did end up, I think I did, like, 10 pumps the first time. I ended up having to mix up, like, 10 more pumps um, just to make sure I had good coverage and everything looked how I wanted it to look. And what y'all will see, once I put this epoxy on, like, it really starts to come together. You're like, oh, yes, okay, now I see the vision. Because at first it just looked raggedy. Um, but now it's definitely like, okay, I see what we're doing here. This works, this works. So, yeah, from here is literally just pouring and smearing. I wish I would have found a way to do this cleaner, though, because, like, I was going to use the little yellow thing that I showed y'all, like the little spreader. I figured my hands was probably just the best method. I always end up just using my hands because um, that's just where I'm comfortable with it. It's like doing a cup. I'm just comfortable with my hands. I've seen people use the silicone brushes. I'm not that girl. That is not me. But, yeah, but it got sticky when I had to <laughs> mix more. I actually had to have my husband help me. Um, actually, I tried to do it without him, and he just stared at me, and he was just like, I don't know why you don't ever let me help you, but I'm very alpha female very anal about the way things are and so yes I he stood there and was finally like are you gonna let me help you or y'all know how men are but yeah I did eventually let him help me under my very watchful eye <laughs> so yeah so this is me just like I said so the only color y'all didn't see me mix was the yellow and I was like because if push comes to shove at the end I can mix just mix a whole new batch for the yellow but I want to make sure if nothing else I have all the coverage that I need for the top three then the bottom three I'll just work on blending in once I mix up a new batch of epoxy so yeah just enjoy this pouring spread I'll show you all the colors so how have you guys been I know I've been away for a while but like I've been filming and everything and editing it's just you know work school see like these janky angles look look at this what's going on here <laughs> But yeah, you know, work school, I'm almost done with school. So hopefully, you know, before Halloween, I'll be a licensed esthetician in the state of Colorado. So I'll, I can change my bio from aesthetic student to esthetician. Um, so yeah, just, you know, adding to my things. But nothing else major going on here. Um, trying to enjoy our little 90 days of summer. Colorado people, the Colorado people be like, the weather's so beautiful. Like, you're like, girl, it's cold nine months a year. It's so cold. And that's why I can only do projects like this when the weather is decent, but you have to wait and you don't know how long your wait is going to be. But yeah, we had like a couple 80 degree days and so I was able to do this. Well, actually y'all will see all the outfit changes. I don't, I think there may be like five different outfit changes in this video because I just, I'll be moving at my own speed, my own pace. I took like a little YouTube break. That's why I haven't been as active in the comments and everything, you know, just stepping away from social media and only doing like what I feel like I need to do which is really like me over on Instagram I try to remember to do TikTok I just don't it's a lot <laughs> um so yeah but of course I I try I get a little bit of help um but you know again I like things my way and so I have to train my help <laughs> and they don't always like that and they love to talk about me because yeah I tell them how I like things done and you know I'm just going off on a tangent and just talking anyways mixed up a little bit more of that pink i love this solstice color it's like the the perfect baby pink and i have another color another color another video coming which will be the one after this video that uses all of the glitters from our surprise box which isn't a surprise anymore because of course they're all out and again you can check that out on our website period6glitter.com but yeah this part and this is like just really relaxing like just putting your hand in that much epoxy and just smearing it around and just like you feel like such an artist like I felt like a boss like I felt like I'm Basquiat like is this how he did his work rest in peace to a great artist but like that's who I felt like I was and of course doing the last color that honey mustard and like when you when I like even like when I did like the first top two colors I felt like okay this is it like this is like my vision of what how I want like the ombre to look because like when you just look at the spray paint it like it looks a mess and I was like oh girl this is gonna be a hot mess and you didn't spend all this money and yeah it's gonna be bad but oh I didn't even tell y'all this desktop is also from Ikea it's not the Linmon one that I have Ikea is going through not even Ikea the damn world is going through shortages of everything our Ikea had literally no kitchen utensils like when I'm talking about like knives, forks, um, potato pillars, apple cores, 
like you know all the stuff like in the kitchen section they literally had i think they had one apple peeler and like too many cutting boards and that was it in the kitchen section they had nothing no spoons nothing no colanders they didn't have nothing and so the Limon is a cheaper version. It's like 20 bucks. This is one that's like a step up. They claim it's new, but I can't tell the difference between this and the Limon. And it's like $30. So I really wasn't fixing to mess up. Y'all know I'm cheap. I was not fixing to mess up a $30 desktop. I was I would have stripped this thing down and retried, but it ended up all turning out good. So we were happy about that. So yeah, all done. This is what we're working with. Like now y'all see the vision, right? Y'all see me? Y'all feel me? we think it's going good do we think it's going bad let me know below in the comments since you're here and you've listened to me talk all this much you should just go ahead and subscribe you know leave me a comment below i would appreciate it show me a little love and support all appreciate it okay let me stop talking now and get back to the video so rocky mountain desktop that's what this is and so i printed up these they're all like fit in a 12 by 12 on my silhouette um, the middle one is supposed to be slightly larger than the two on its side. Um, it may not look like it, but the, but it is. And so I just printed these up with black Oracle 651 vinyl. And I'm going to put these on here. And so my plan was to make these. See, look, look at y'all, new outfit. <laughs> I actually would, you know, trying to be cute this day because we had some things to do. But I, I ain't changing outfits, okay? I want to have a bunch of clothes to wash. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just making sure they're equidistant and have the same amount on the sides. And yeah, so I was my original plan was to just put these on here um, just as vinyl, like have them kind of like the vinyl just popping out off of the glitter. Um, and I'm going to show you why, why that ended up not happening um, by my own fault, of course. Y'all know I be struggle busting it. And like it's crazy because everything had went really well up to this point and then... <laughs> me and this vinyl like I had to cut these things like three not like three times I had to cut one of the mountains twice because I had put it on the desk and I kind of fucked it up I don't know if I'm allowed to say that I messed it up I know the people who be like my children was watching um are going to be mad at me but again my channel is marked as not for kids because I do use harsh chemicals so check your YouTube settings if that's a problem love the rest of y'all though um <laughs> but yeah I'm using uh, my tech wrap little squeegee tool to get it on there as best as I can. And I really messed up is where I, when I put it on the, the transfer tape, I didn't put it on there the best because I thought I would be able to work it out when I put it on the desk and that just didn't happen. That transfer tape really determined how good or bad my lay was going to be. And I put it on there real mediocre. So I got a very mediocre result. Again, my own fault. But my husband, he kind of stepped in and was like, why don't you do this and I, that's into what I'm doing so that's how it looks you can see how, like I have like little bubbles on it and on all of them and I got very self-conscious about the bubbles I was like oh my goodness this looks a mess like <laughs> I didn't came this far and this looks a hot mess like the bubbles the bubbles what am I gonna do about these bubbles so I tried to like use like a straight blade and like cut them and smooth them out and so finally my husband's like you're not gonna cover them in glitter and I was like I wasn't planning on it he was like wait your period is glitter and you're not going to cover the mountains in glitter on your glitter desktop. I was like, you know what, sir? You are correct. You are indeed correct. I'm going to cover these mountains in glitter because I am period with glitter. I'm about that glitter life. Well, we should put that on the shirt about that glitter life. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do it. And so it proceeded to take me like two, three days. <laughs> To get these glitter on this desktop, it takes so long. Like, literally, y'all. Like, this little piece y'all see me doing in real life, it took me, like, 20 minutes. So, and then I didn't bring all the paintbrushes I needed to my garage with me. And I, like, once I got done doing, like, this little big porch, I said, oh, that's enough, child. I'm going back to the house because this is too much. <laughs> this is going to take me too long. I'm, I'm circle back to it tomorrow. And so here's me circling back to it tomorrow. Not even, like, and y'all see the first mountain is done. Like, this is, like, two days later, like, I had to get my little detail brushes. I didn't even, I haven't had to do this kind of detail work in so long. I didn't even know if I had them little brushes. Like, but I did find them with the rest of my brushes. But I was like, oh, child, I'm not built for this. This is too much. I ain't going to never do this again. This is why I don't sell this kind of stuff because, oh, yeah. But, again, it took me a very long time, but I'm very proud of the results. So, at the end of the day, it was all worth it. And this is how it looks. Nice and shiny, nice and glittery, popping, popping, popping. So yeah, you can see it covered up all the little imperfections that I was feeling very self-conscious about. 
and the vinyl so I was very happy about that so yeah it's a full glitter desktop bada boom bada bing and excuse all the junk on the ground don't judge I was making trying to make sure I didn't mess up the garage floor too bad um so I did decide to uh, clear coat the mountain so the black didn't move all over the desktop and look like there was like weird little black spots all over it um and so I decided spray painting the mountains was going to be the best way to go about that in the rust-oleum clear coat I had to I had to flip the desk up I don't think my my can might be kind of empty but you see I'm having to hold it all kinds of janky ways and whatnot to get it to spray out decently um again if you got a kind of full bottle you probably don't got to do this but me my bottle was kind of empty I was kind of pushing it so I had to do what I had to do <laughs> so yeah I just flipped the desktop up and I'm just going excuse my face I am I eat sunflower seeds all the time so that's I have a bunch of sunflower seeds in my mouth don't judge me um but I'm just going back in and just wiping the areas where the you know like the force and the air of the spray the aerosolness of it all kicked up some glitter in some places where I don't want it to be side note if you're in the podcast check out the read it's an awesomely funny podcast. They keep it real, hot tops and all that. I love it. And so this is the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. Um, this stuff, of course, is built for tabletops. And when I tell y'all, this, this stuff is shiny. Sh like, it's a beautiful, shiny. And honestly, it was pretty foolproof. Like, when I, like, you know, when you use a new epoxy for the first time, you don't really know how it's going to go. And, like, admittedly, with their five and one, um, I felt like that one was a little bit more of a learning curve with the blushing and the amber and all these things that I had to educate myself on more on how to, um, like, finish, essentially. Like, how you're supposed to, like, finish off those products when you use them. This one... I just hit the table with the heat gun and it was good. So yeah, I did 250 mils, I believe, of each side. And then I did end up having to do another 125 of each side. So it ended up being 750 mils total um, between the two sides. Sorry, I had to switch angles. Again, I'm y'all can tell now I'm filming by myself. You know, I'm, I was doing this now on days that my husband was at work. And so my, then my car is still in the garage, so I couldn't get like a good angle where you could see y'all don't even care about this. Anyways, we on the opposite side now. <laughs> um, and I'm finally using this little tool. I hope Total Bow, I'm pretty sure Total Bow sent me this tool too. If not, I just had it with their stuff. My bad y'all, if y'all didn't send it to me, I still love y'all, still love the product. And it worked out with this. Um, but yeah, and so I just, I started to use that little tool. Little tool was great, don't get me wrong. But again, when it comes, when it came to like doing that mountain area, I just felt more comfortable with my hand, just a personal choice. If those mountains weren't glittered, I probably wouldn't have cared too much, but I just felt like, you know, like I told y'all, my spray can was a little janky. So like, it's not the best clear coat coverage. So I still had to deal with a little bit of those particles moving around. So I just wanted to be, y'all see me like trying to scrape them up off the side. I just wanted to make sure I was in more control in that area. And I didn't want to use the squeegee tool, like spreading it around everywhere. And people are going to ask me things like wait times between. Let's see. just Let's just say a day between every step. <laughs> spray. Well, you can spray paint an epoxy the same day. I waited like three hours um, for the glitter layer. And then like the next day, put the mountains on. Started to glitter it. The glitter took me like two days. And then I spray painted it the day after that. Let it sit. And then the next day is when I'm doing my final epoxy. And all in all, it took me like five days. Um, probably could have did it in three. But, you know, I'm, I'm on my own schedule. Don't Don't judge me. And this is what we got. I, there's some fingerprints in the mountains. Don't 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 judge me. Uh, I'm still working on my craft room. This is gonna go up in my craft room. Just the furniture that I ordered is not here yet. Again, worldwide shortage. Things are just harder to get. It stays longer. But I want to give you all a little content because I know y'all have missed me. I've missed y'all. And so yeah, this is my, my glitter Rocky Mountain desktop. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at period six is nine. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at period six glitter. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. I'm really proud of these edges. Yes, clean edges. Very proud of myself. And I will see you guys in the next one.